One in five Australians are working or living with a disability, so we should try and reflect that in our workforce. So one in five employees, we should be looking at supporting people with a disability. It reflects the community that we work in and support. So we have diversity networks across a whole range of different diversity groups, including the, the Disability Employee Network. So we partner with them across all aspects of policies, programs, and a couple of the key things that we're working on at the moment is how do we help people with a disability access roles and access employment. It's important across the public and private sector that it's a key focus of management to have an inclusive and safe working environment for, for everybody. Most people with disability are really resourceful. They don't need very much help. They've got to where they are usually on their own. And so it's really just a matter of having a dialogue and being open to doing things a different way that can make all the difference in making your workplace more efficient and a more inclusive place. I was born with a condition called Stargardt's disease, um, which meant that I could see perfectly until I was 13, and then I progressively lost my sight, and um, from the age of 19 I've been legally blind, and I currently have about 4% vision. I've been very fortunate to have most encouraging managers over the years. The current role uh, um, I have as team coordinator is far by the most rewarding role I've ever had. And the best part of it is I get to help my teammates with any administration tasks. Look at their ability, not their disability. You'll find it's so much rewarding and um, beneficial employing someone with a disability. A lot of the support we're trying to provide is around building capabilities with our leaders to have those conversations with their employees to understand their needs and then to work on what reasonable workplace adjustments we can make to help them be successful. Mm -hmm.